Now at six, more beloved Boston restaurants are closing for good. The latest occupy what was a lively stretch in Kenmore Square and Fenway Park. And those businesses, of course, relied on sports fans in that area coming and going from Red Sox games. But as WBZ's Rachel Holt shows us, the pandemic was just too devastating. Business just evaporated. I mean, it's been a, it's the hardest year of my life. Martin Thornton has owned Thornton's Fenway Grill for 29 years. He was worried this year might be the last. Every week I sit there and think, should I should I try and make it, or should I just give it up? And I just kept going. Like many surrounding businesses, Thornton's was impacted by the absence of concerts and fans at Fenway during games. I'm down over 50 percent, probably closer to 35 percent, and that's not enough to to survive. I think I speak for everybody uh, in the neighborhood when I say it's rough. Um, we had an extended patio out on Eric Biaras way right over there, um, but even with that, you know, sales are down a lot. A representative for Eastern Standard confirmed it's not reopening, along with Island Creek Oyster Bar and the Hawthorne in Kenmore Square, adding to the list of notable restaurants in the area that have closed their doors. Being someone from the inside, like, I I can see why it happened, um, but it, it just goes to show that the restaurants in general just need a lot of help. One restaurant can't survive. You gotta have a bunch of people come in for the, the diversity. So it's the group of restaurants that, that keep people coming in and keep us all surviving. So far, there's no official word on if fans will be allowed at Fenway Park this season. Red Sox opening day is April 1st. For WBZ News, I'm Rachel Holt. Oh, it is heartbreaking to lose some of those restaurants. Yeah, and we just can't put a big enough spotlight on what's happening to these poor business owners, right. especially in Boston. Yeah.